Since 2000, uh, in the current drought, we've seen Lake Mead decline by more than 100 feet in elevation. And some would say, well, that's the sign of the drought. And it's true in part. The normal amount, and I put quotes around that, the normal amount of water, eight and a quarter million acre feet or more, was released from Lake Powell every year to Lake Mead, and yet Lake Mead dropped every year. The reason that we have this structural deficit, the reason that we're heading this way, is because we're not charging those evaporative losses in Lake Mead. We're not charging the lower basin's half of the Mexican treaty obligation to the states. All of those things are being taken out of storage. That deficit uh, has been there for, for many, many years, ever since uh, the lower basin states have been using their entire allocations off the river. Now that we've been in this long-term drought, what we're seeing is the impacts, not only of the drought, but this deficit. We're seeing a 12-foot loss. In a normal year, if we didn't have that deficit, Lake Mead would be relatively stable. 